Hello, welcome back. So we in the previous lecture we saw what how we can define the angular momentum system about a fixed point, an arbitrary point, and center of mass. So we have angular momentum. But maybe let me where is my cursor? Is my cursor oh no not that okay is it here no is it here where is it okay that's bad all right so in the linear world linear equation of motion was the rate of change of total linear momentum of the system was equal to the the total external forces acting on it so we want to write a similar equation but in the angular domain so let's start with equa equations of angular motion about center of mass so um, in the linear domain we didn't have to worry about about a point because it didn't exist but in angular domain always we need to think about which point or axis we are writing equations so let's for now look at the the one in center of um, the one about center of mass so the in the previous lecture we saw the angular momentum about center of mass is the summation of relative positions positions of all particles relative to center of mass cross their relative velocity what i can do is to take derivative of this and i have h dot c equals so i have a cross product of two terms it's going to be derivative of one cross product with the second one plus derivative of first one cross product with the second one the cross product of first one is rho dot c oh, let me write it down so it is equal to summation of rho dot c i cross m i rho dot c yeah no c goes up c i plus summation of rho c i cross m i rho dot do rho double dot c i so this and this are equal so the cross product is actually zero so here i have h dot c equals summation of rho c i relative position cross m i relative acceleration okay good now i have kind of a similar equation that m times acceleration i need what i need to do is to relate this to the forces now coming here from newton's second law we know for each particle m i times r i double dot equals fi the external force plus sum of all internal forces and these are double dot i i can write it as m i times r double dot i let's write it um, as r double dot c position acceleration of center of mass plus rho c i this this so from here I, i'm trying to find the some relationship of 
this mi rho double dot ci that I have here. So I can calculate that mi rho double dot ci equals fi plus sum of all little fij over i minus mi r double dot c. Now I can substitute these onto the top equation. So we sub substitute this. H dot c becomes um, summation of i rho c relative position cross mi. Oh, I had this. fi plus summation of fij minus m i r double dot c which i can expand the cross product i would get summation over i of rho i c cross fi plus summation um, this is j i'm sorry this is j so forces are, i'm submitting all other components um particles over j so this is some i rho i cross some j f i j minus sum over i rho i this is c rho i c cross m i r double dot c all right so i have a few terms the first one let's for now keep it as is the second one will be zero um because all these the second one is zero because always there is some f i j which is negative f j i and if i write this and work out these row cross those because um they are collinear they always cancel out and this term is zero and what about the last one so rho i c so last one it is minus summation of rho i c m cross r double dot c i can factor out r c because it it doesn't iterate with i and what i have in the parentheses is essentially this is i m i the position of the center of mass relative to center of mass so this one is zero so that one's zero the, the second one is zero the third one is zero the only thing that remains h dot c equals um sum over i of rho i c cross f i and uh, this is not good writing h dot c equals that So the rate of change of angular momentum is essentially the moment of all external forces about center of mass. And the right hand side, we usually call it as M about center of mass, the total moment about center of mass. And this is the equation of motion about center of mass. So you have a bunch of forces, find the moment of those about center of mass and that would give you how the angular momentum is changing 
So that's that. Ooh, not good, not good, not good. So you see I can fit the, the other part here. Now let's write equation of motion about some arbitrary point P that I have kind of shown here. So it is sometimes convenient to write equations of motion, equations of angular motion about another point that is not center of mass. So we can do that. From previous video, if you remember, we had um, h about p was h about center of mass. Oh, not dot yet. Ah. hp equals hc plus the moment of linear momentum of the center of mass so rho c cross m total mass of the system rho dot c now if i take derivative of this let me do it now let's do it here d over dt so h dot p equals h dot c plus rho and the same argument that we had up here. This is going to be rho c cross m rho double dot c. Now, now we need to find this, this one. And we, we have to resolve the, the last term, mass times acceleration, of the relative acceleration. What can we do? So from, again, Newton's second law, Newton's second law, we can write m r double dot c is the sum of all external forces. And R double dot C in this case, I can write it as M R double dot P plus rho double dot C, the relative motion. Um, good. Now again, um, M rho double dot c is sum of fi minus m r double dot p so from these two i can substitute and h dot p becomes h dot c plus rho c cross uh, I have m double dot so all taken care of sum of all forces sum over i uh, minus m r double dot p acceleration of the point itself So from above, we just saw this h dot c from here. We saw that this is the moment about center of mass. Why did I have m dot m? This is not h, this is m. If, sorry if my handwriting isn't mc which is the moment of all forces about center of mass. And I'm just going to expand this and write, rewrite it down here. So h dot p 
equals the first term is the moment so summation over i of rho relative positions times fi the moment about center of mass plus i'm going to take this row inside that summation so let me do that plus summation over i of rho c cross fi minus um, rho c cross m r double dot p let me close the brackets here now inside the bracket you can kind of combine the, the two terms that have the fi and it's going to be rho ic plus rho c plus fi which from the diagram up there that would be let me see rho c that would be rho i so this is summation of rho i cross fi or we call it moments about point P so all, all in the end what I have is H dot P equals moments about point P but we have to sub subtract the effect of acceleration of the point itself oh this is HP so that is the equation of motion about a certain point we can calculate the moment external moments on that point but note that the the system um, the point itself is accelerating and kind of from the perspective of the center of mass we have to remove that in that a moment of this inertia it's not moment of inertia it's moment of inertia something like that there is a pause between moment and inertia and maybe the last one that is often very helpful equation of motion about a fixed point so fixed point means r double dot of that point is zero so we can immediately use whatever we found here so let's call it h r double dot of o h of o about a fixed point h dot equals moments about this point o so we have kind of three versions of this two of them very similar either about the equate about the center of mass or about the fixed point we can calculate the the external moments and that would give us the rate of change of angular momentum or if we are talking about a, an arbitrary point that may have acceleration uh, we can use the the equations about point p and noting that we have to consider the acceleration of that point itself in the equations okay that is all we have for now and uh let's see i have two more two more two more videos for this uh, module okay see you then